After a summer of extreme weather, heat, wildfires and hurricanes dominated the headlines. We get more now about what people are doing in tonight's In Depth. CBS's Janet Shamlian shows us how some people are making changes in how they live to ensure the next natural disaster won't leave them without a home. Max Begay loves almost everything about living in coastal Louisiana. Every time I come in, I, I love the way it looks. But hurricane season brings back memories of Katrina in 2005, when his home and neighborhood were washed away, almost as if they never existed. Did you think about leaving at all after Katrina? We all did, and a lot of people left. Um, but but I, I chose to stay. He also chose a geodesic dome for his new house, made of close to 300 interwoven triangles. I built the dome because I didn't want to go through the process of, of losing another house. The dome home is able to withstand winds topping 200 miles per hour, making it essentially hurricane proof. When you told people you were building a dome home, what did they say? They thought I was a kook. Not anymore. The spherical home is also energy efficient because surface area is minimized. His electric bills are usually less than $100 a month, a third of what his neighbors pay. Domes have long been built for their resiliency, from the world's first dome stadium, the Astrodome, to the majestic Iron Dome of the U.S. Capitol. We really want to be able to show how geodesic domes are not just stable and resilient, but they're also eminently efficient and portable and practical. The Smithsonian recently reassembled this dome, the first built in North America, after six decades in storage, part of a focus on extreme weather. We're absolutely not thinking enough about the role of housing and structures in climate change. Dome-shaped buildings made of concrete can withstand wildfires, floods, and earthquakes. Their shape also allows them to disperse tremendous weight without collapsing. Construction costs are generally higher, but so is the chance of survival. How long will you stay here? Well, how long do I have? <laughs> <laughs> A dome of self-defense for those living on the front lines of Mother Nature's beauty and her fury. Janet Shamley in CBS News, St. Bernard, Louisiana.